This lesson is going to be on combining like terms, part two. And with all of these examples, we're going to be dealing with the distributive property first. And then we have to combine like terms. So let's go ahead and take a look at number one. We have negative four times the group of 5n plus 6 minus 4 times the group of 2 minus 7n. Well, we have two different groups, and for both of those groups, we need to distribute. Okay, so when I distribute, I'm taking the number that's on the outside and I'm multiplying it times everybody on the inside. So that first one, negative 4 times negative 5n, is going to give me negative, oh, well, excuse me, not negative, but positive 20n, because a negative times a negative is a positive. And then I do negative 4 times positive 6. A negative times a positive is a negative, And 4 times 6 is 24. All right? Now, this next time that I distribute, I'm really distributing a negative 4. Okay? So we got to pay attention to that. So I'm doing negative 4 times positive 2. A negative times a positive is a negative, And 4 times 2 is 8. Now I'm going to do negative 4 times negative 7n, and if you need to make sure you see that, okay, so negative 4 times negative 7, a negative times a negative is a positive, oops, excuse me, wrong color, negative times a negative is a positive, 4 times 7 is 28, and we keep the n. Now I can go ahead and do my combining like terms. I have a positive 20n and I have a positive 28n those are the same signs so I add those all right that's gonna give me positive 48n and now I have my other like terms here excuse me the negative 24 and the negative 8 those are the same signs, so we add and keep the sign of the bigger number. Both of them are negative, so the, the final answer for that is going to be negative. When we combine them, we add them together, that's going to give us 32. So it's really negative 32. So our final answer is 48n minus 32. Let's take a look at number 2. Number 2, let's rewrite it. We have 2 minus 6 times the group of negative 5x plus one. Well, before we do anything, we need to distribute. We're going to do, and we're distributing a negative six. So that's going to be negative six times five X and negative six times positive one. I can bring down the positive two. Now I want to do negative six times negative five. Negative times a negative is a positive. Six times five is 30. Keep the X. Now I want to do negative 6 times positive 1. A negative times a positive is a negative. 6 times 1 is 6. I've done that. Now I want to identify my like terms. Positive 2, negative 6. Those are different signs, which means I have to subtract. And when I subtract, that gives me 4. The larger one is negative, so that's going to be a negative 4. And I bring down my 30x. All right. And that would be my final answer, 30x minus 4. 3 and 4. First, we want to, once again, start off by rewriting it. So 3n minus the group of negative 2n minus 1. Now, here, we don't seem to have a number in front, but that doesn't mean we can't place one there. We're going to put a 1 right here. And now I know I need to distribute that negative 1 and I'm going to do negative 1 times negative 2n. And I have to do negative 1 times negative 1. First thing I can do is bring down the positive 3n. Now I go ahead and do negative 1n times negative, excuse me, negative 1 times negative 2n. A negative times a negative is a positive. 1 times 2 is 2. We keep the n. Now I do negative 1 times negative 1. Negative times a negative is a positive. 1 times 1 is 1. And last but not least, we're going to combine our like terms. Positive 3n, positive 2n, both of them are positives. That means they're the same sign. So I add, that's 5n, and then I bring down the positive 1, which makes my final answer 5n plus 1. Number 4, our last one for the day. This really says negative 1n 
plus 8 times the group of negative 5r minus 2. Whenever we have a variable written by itself, we put the 1 there. I've already done that, but I'll highlight it again. I put my 1 right here. Now I have to make sure that I distribute. I have a positive 8, and I'm going to distribute that to that negative 5r and to the negative 2. I can bring down my negative 1r. And now I'm going to do positive 8 times negative 5. A positive times a negative is a negative, and 8 times 5 is 40. We keep the r. Once again, I'm going to do positive 8 times negative 2. A positive times a negative is a negative, and 8 times 2 is 16. Now I want to go ahead and combine my like terms. I have a negative 1r, and I have a negative 40r. Those are the same signs, so same signs we add. That's going to make negative 41. Bring down the negative 16 for a final answer of negative 41r minus 16.